Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Ruth and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I have this really fun BS mill deck but with the new pirates. So in this deck you have two win con. Either deck them out or just beat them to death. So uh, here's a quick rundown of the deck. First, you have two Sheldon for mana ramp and then three Suzuri, two Barl, three Soul Horse, three Duck Knight, uh, two, uh, three Shark to help uh, mill our minions and opponent, three Lolo for uh, searching our Suzuri, three MC Gingar. 3 power consumption 2 wave white since uh, we needed to bring back our Gingar or Death Shark 2, two Kraken to dump either Gingar or Death Shark 2 Death Shark 2 Death Shark to pressure your opponent and draw power 2 Roav the Vampire to weaken your opponent minion and heal if blocked 2 Destruction Two of the new card, Santi Dai. Um, I really love this dude. And lastly, to Alexander. Um, I was running three, but I think that's too much and it breaks your hand. Um, that's about it for the deck rundown. Uh, let's go to the replays. For our opening match, we are against one of the most oppressive decks a few formats ago, Blue Mask. We got the first turn. We summon Duck Knight and pass. Opponent plays Sheldon, summon Jelly Girl, moving to base and pass. On our turn, we summon Skark, moving to base, then summon Soul Horse and pass. Opponent summons Skulls, but not recycling anything. Must be confident with his hand. On our turn, we summon Lolo, activate Sheldon's magic to ramp. And then attack with Skark. And then moving horse to base. And the next turn, he summons the 5 cost mass and then move it to base and then summons Jelly Girl. On our turn, we play Suzuri. And then we summon Gustav and summons our main boy, Ginga and Alexander to destroy his Sphinx. We also tried to destroy his Phoenix, but we got hit with Wizard Weapon. We then move Ginga back to field and then pass. The next turn, the opponent summons the three cost mask and tries to attack our force. We block it with Gustav. He moves his other mask from base to attack our force again. But we used our power consumption, so we should be safe. That is, until he activated two Sheldon's magic, then attacking directly and Henshin to the cost 8 form. But we get to mill him for 10 cards on our turn. We move back Alexander, summon Sansi Dai, then attacks life while activating Alexander's effect to destroy his smaller mask. Our Sansi Dai is hit with Tidal Wave, but we got more than enough hit with Alexander to finish him off. Our second match is what I would say the one of the sleeper deck of the meta. Artist looks really fun to play now, but unfortunately for them, they are facing us, which is pretty bad matchup. We got first turn, so we summon Soul Horse and pass. Our opponent summons Bubbler, moving it to base, and then pass. On our turn, we summon Lolo, searching for Suzuri, and then moving Horse to base. Uh, the opponent activates the Legend spell, then summons another Bubbler, then activates 2 Revelation. After that, he moved Bubbler to base and pass. I think our opponent got all the cards they want and needed. <laughs> On our turn, we summon Duck Knight, move it to base, then summon our best card against Artist MC Gingar. On his turn, he summons Owner, searching for the Legend spell, and then move Owner to base, then summons the new card Silk 
then passing. On our turn, we summon Oriharkum Golem, activate his effect to mill 3, then he summon High Flyer to get refined. We activate Oriharkum Golem effects one more time to mill 3, then we summon Wave White and Gustav, destroying his Phoenix and pass. On his turn, he summons Ellie, then activates the Legend spell to move all of our minions to base. I love that card, even though I don't play Ardis. He has to mill 5 though because of Gingar's effect, then attacks our Phoenix. On our turn, we move back Orihalukum Golem, summons Death Shark, then summoning Zanti Dai to get the opponent's Ocean Veil and use it against them, then passing. On their turn, move Ellie back to field, activate a bunch of magic, and goes for face. We managed to block some of them, but not all. But we basically won the game since we have two minions that can infiltrate and hit face without worrying about the dragon wall. Good game. Next we play. Our third match is against Yellow Angel. This time I tried using Shade instead of Sheldon. We get first turn, but we didn't get any cost one, so we just activate Shield first magic and pass. Opponent pla uh, places Ray and then summoning Khaled and then moving to base to search for Archibald. His hand is looking pretty solid, it seems. Uh, on our turn, he summons Lolo, move it to base and pass. On his turn, he summons Reptalion, move it to base, then summons Cleo and attacks our Phoenix. Top deck Alexander, which is great. We summon Death Shark and Gustav, milling. Ooh, Angela, nice. He summons another Reptalian and then Sophia. Sophia then summons War Angel and attacks our force. But we absorb Sophia's DP for two. We block Reptalian with Death Shark and Cleo with Gustav. On our turn, we summon Wave White to put Gustav back to base and then moving White to base to summon Gingar and pass. On his turn, he attacks Phoenix with Sophia, which we respond with destruction. He then searches for the Legend spell and attacks with War Angel, destroying our Phoenix. Then he summons on our turn, we summon Lolo, then activate Sheet's second magic, destroying Medi, and we summon Alexander, then pass, because we need to prepare for the beatdown they are going to deliver. On their turn, they summon Angela, and then Lolo, then another War Angel, and attacks our Sphinx. We block some of it, then they activate the Legend spell, which made them mill 5, then pass. On our turn, we summon Orihalakum Golem, then attacking with Alexander, activating its effect to destroy one War Angel, but the opponent responds with summoning Holly, but didn't block our attack. We activate Sheet's third magic to destroy Holly, which made the opponent mill 6 because of Alexander's effect. We attack with Death Shark, moving it to base, then summon our last Lolo, I think. Then pass. On their turn, they summon Archibald, moving Medi to field, then attacking. Bouncing our golem to hand, destroying our phoenix, and hitting face, which is fine, since the game is already over for them. On our turn, we move Death Shark, then summon Skark, and finally dropping our big boy, Eiyu Kyojin, Titus. 
decking out our opponent, and we pass. Good game! Our fourth match is against another yellow. This time, it's the Winnie Hut Jr. version. Our hand is looking really heavy, but nothing to panic. The opponent placing Hydrandia on first turn, which means their hand is shit too. On their turn, they summon Reptalian, attacks Phoenix, move it to base, and pass. We top deck another Suzuri, which is awesome. We summon Gustav, then Dark Knight, and Soul Horse, moving Duck to base, and pass. Opponent summons Sully, moving to base, and pass. With equally heavy hand, who is going to getting beat first? On our turn, we summon Santidai, and pass, since if we attack now, there's a high chance they're going to drop Archibald and block our Santidai. On our turn, we summon Death Shark, attacking with Santidai to steal his knight and destroy his phoenix. We summon knight, move it to base, then summon our Orihalcum golem, and then pass. On his turn, he summons bird, Angela, moving Sully to base, and summons an Ambrosius and Duskers, attacking our phoenix, to which we respond with destroying his Ambrosius and blocking all the attack. On our turn, we summon Rob, destroying his Clave, and attack with Zanti, stealing his Ambrosius and Angela. We summon both of them and attack with all of our minion for game. <laughs> and for our last match is against the one that is raging the meta right now, Mono Soldier. They start with Armed Avian and Legend Spell Pass. Our turn, we summon Soul Horse, move it to base, and pass. Their turn, they summon Hydro Gunner, attacks our Phoenix, move it to base, and pass. On our turn, we summon Lolo, activate Shade's first magic, and pass. On his turn, they're just going to pass? Is their hand too heavy? On our turn, we summon Way White, Check if they have anything on flash tap. On their, their turn, they summon Dark Gunner and pass. On our turn, we summon Gustav and Titus to mill a total of 6 cards, then move Titus to base and pass. On his turn, he attacks with Dark Gunner, but we respond with Destruction. He moves Hydro Gunner, then summons Ryusei, he then attacks, but we have power consumption to absorb Ryusei. We move our Titus to hit face, but they hit us with X cannon. We summon Ramirez, get our power consumption back, and attacks his Phoenix while destroying Hydro Gunner. On his turn, he summons Hydro Gunner, then attacks with Ryusei, we absorb it once more, then he boosts Hydro Gunner with Rhino and tries to attack Phoenix, but we have another destruction in hand. He then summons another Ryusei and finally choke the Phoenix. And on our turn, we activate two Sheeds magic, destroying his Siren, then summons Wei White and attacks Life. On his turn, he summons Barrier, Swan, and Phalanx, and goes all to face. On our turn, we attack Ramirez, destroying Phalanx, attacks with Wei White, summons MC Gingar and Golem. We try to go for Lethal, but he activates Counter-Attack, 
and blocks, which trigger Golem and Gengar's effect, making him mill 10 cards. We then move Barrel to go for lethal, but he blocks once more, resulting in him decking out. Good game. <laughs> Well, that's all the replay I got for today. I had a blast making this deck. Mm, this deck may not be a meta contender, but it's great having an alternative win con, and decking your opponents out is fun. Uh, I have no idea what to make for next video, but it'll probably be vampires or, or soldiers. Um, that reminds me, uh, there's a dude in Zenonzard Indonesia group asking me to make a 6 color deck with Desiree. I would love to make it, but sadly uh, I don't have enough spirits. I spent it all making Rosetta. <laughs> I mean, look at this! She, she's so pretty! I might make a God Sex variant sometime in the future. Maybe? Well, sorry for holding you out for so long. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.